So how's it going? It's going good. Um, I wanted to say a few things about our oats. Um, they are a short variety of oats and they're not very tall. Um, but the clover is coming in fairly nicely. And so I'm cutting this and we have a, our neighbor is coming up and is going to actually round bale and wrap this for a silage for me and I'll just be for my beef cows. I would have preferred having the heads in the milk stage, which some of them are, but uh, they're just barely in the milk stage. And uh, um, so you can see that milk right there, that's the milk stage, but they're not all that way. It's a, almost a little bit early. See the milk in the milk stage? So um, I know a lot of people actually like to do it, cut it in the boot stage, which means it's not even in the head yet. It's still all in the covered up in the boot, what they call the boot stage. Um, I guess I prefer it in the milk stage. So we have other years dried it for square and square, put it in square bales and put it in the barn. I don't like to do that anymore though because it seems like the mice will get in so bad in the bales and chew the strings and we've had a lot of troubles with that so I don't like to do that anymore. I was gonna just hire my neighbor to come round bale it for me as dry hay but this is so hard to dry and the weather is not good. It's a cloudy day today and tomorrow's supposed to be nice but uh, it's not the best for dry baling it. So I decided I might as well spend the extra money and just wrap it and be done with it. And so he has time to do it right now. So I'm going to do it right now. I am, since this is all new seeding, and if you wanted to go back to my other videos of me fitting the ground and seeding it, you can. Um, but since it's all new seeding, I have changed. Here, I didn't even shut my Figure it out of gear. Shame on me. So, anyways, I have the shoes on these mow machines, and there's a shoe here and a shoe over on this side too. I adjusted those so my cutter bar is up off the ground a ways. On new seating, you always have to worry about stones before the sod really comes in. So, um, by lifting it a little bit, I'm more apt to miss those stones that I did not pick. Um, you can see the stubble is cut fairly high here. It's about four inches of stubble. And uh, so that helps me um, not hit stones. And then sometimes we'll go back through after we get it off and just pick some more stones to get a little bit cleaner. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, I do have some plenty of weeds in this field. If you look across the field there, well, that's pretty normal. Um, I can live with that. It'll all make feed. That's why you like to put this into... Into a uh, silage. It, it really yeah. ferments and they'll eat all these weeds um, right along with the, the oats. So, And by cutting it now, there should be a good second cutting of the clover. The clover will come through and really should do well for second cutting. So. How's Lady today after her... Uh, dental appointment yesterday. She's doing really good. I took these two to the woods this morning and I was really pleased how well she was using her mouth with that bit, the rubber bit that I have in their mouth. If you want to go back to the video from the other day, um, I talked about that and it just, I, I saw a huge difference already. So that's great. Okay, I'm gonna get to uh, Let's give a close up of Lady here. Lady, how are you feeling today? So this is the rubber bit that I have in her mouth. And uh, it's this morning, I she felt so good and it was like she didn't have a bit in her mouth. I could have had a little bit of a harsh, more harsher bit because it's like there was no pain. So um, she just dug right in and, and uh, I, I felt she did really well. Yeah. She's anyway. kind of chewing different here. All right, I'm going to go. They worked all morning and now they're doing something different this afternoon. Uh, 
I wish my mower was as quiet as it is here on this video. I turn the volume way down when I'm using the mower. It's quite loud. I have heard, heard a lot of people saying how terrible it is to put motors behind horses and pull implements, partially because of the noise. Uh, if you run this mow machine all day long, it's just as bad, I think, as using the tractor. I would have a, a class here on different weeds. I'm not going to tell you what they are because I don't want to show you my ignorance because I don't know my weeds very good at all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick them out and give them a number and then in the comments below, just for fun, you can tell me what kind of weeds they are. We'll call this weed number one. Call this weed number two. And we'll call this weed number three. I'm trying to find some different ones. Here's one. Weed number four has almost like a, looks like a green bean on them. Weed number Well, how's everybody doing today? It's a nice hot day today. We mowed these oats yesterday in a very cloudy day, but today it's been hot, hot all day. So hopefully it'll be good for silage. Um, I've never done too much silage. Even back when we were milking cows, we never really did too much silage. But uh, hopefully this is pretty good. It actually sounds like there's some dried, dryness to it but it's still pretty green so um, we'll see how it works my neighbor Owen is coming up here very soon with the baler and he will bale it and then I will take the skid steer probably and just run the bales down to closer to the buildings and then he has a his wrapper and he'll wrap the bales up for me so that's what our plan is for today. Um, it's awful good to have two pairs of horses because this morning I used the Belgians in the woods and yesterday they worked a lot. And so the Pertrons haven't worked for several days. So they're working today. And I forget the fly spray. Of course for the Belgians, they don't even need the fly spray, but these do. It's not deer flies, it's not big old horse flies, it's just simple, straight, stable flies. And uh, they go crazy even with that. But that's what I'll have to put up with. So we'll get to raking and get it finished up. Later in the video, I'm going to be showing you some successive cultivations I did in the cornfield. Here, Owen made it up with his baler, so he's going to bail up all the bales. I'm almost done raking. So we ended up with 13 bales. I brought them over here with the skid steer, and when Owen gets here, we'll set them right on the wrapper for him.
So how many bales will that roll do? How many? 24 bales. That's all it'll do. And how many times do you wrap that? 16 revolutions. And there's two layers. It covers two layers per eight revolutions. So you're getting six layers of plastic. How do you know you've done that? I have a counter. How do you? I think we're at, the good, at a good moisture. Yeah. yeah. It seems really nice. The cows love that. You're also you're feeding to cows right now, yeah. of course. Yeah, definitely cows. Just would like to thank Owen for coming up and doing this for me. Their family has been such good neighbors ever since we've been here. They were the, one of the first ones that came to greet us and they've just been super, super neighbors ever since we've been here. Just so much appreciate them. I wanted to give you an update on our corn crop. I'm cultivating here a couple weeks ago. I have a lady in Ken on a very windy day. It's been very dry. We haven't got as much rain as we'd like, but uh, we'll take what we can get. Corn's growing pretty good. I'm back cultivating corn this morning. We've been busy in the hayfield last week. I didn't have any time to do any cultivating. I did do some cultivating well, maybe it was the first week, I can't remember. Can't even remember now. But anyways, it's in dire need of some cultivating. So, um, I just came up through these two rows here. Um, this, uh, there's still a lot of weeds here. But, uh, like I said, I should have hit it one more time last week. Most of these weeds I've pretty well pulled out. And uh, so hopefully they'll die. Although I'm not so sure, I might need to hit them again. As you can see right here, it's doing a pretty good job of uh, getting the bulk of them. I decided to use Bill today. I've never used him cultivating, but uh, so this is his first time. He walks pretty fast, so I surely didn't want to use him for the first cultivations. But um, now it's the corn's tall enough. I, I can just keep him straight between the rows. I should be able to run the foot pedals enough to keep from knocking my corn down. These pedals right here, you swing back and forth, it turns these wheels. But I'm going to have to drive, I'm not going to try to film and drive at the same time, at least not for a little while, because I really got to concentrate, I don't want to knock any corn down. So we'll see how it goes. Okay, out cultivating, probably for the last time, it's July 3rd. I guess we definitely hit the knee high by the 4th of July. Um, it's, uh, it's looking pretty good. I decided to use the blacks today. Been mowing mowed yesterday with the Belgians, so this is what we're doing. I hope you have a great 4th of July, safe, happy holiday. And uh, we'll see you next time. So when you're cultivating with horses, this is what you're watching all day long. It gets hard on the eyes after a while. Well, it's been a good day. Got this field of oats all in. All bailed up and wrapped. It's a beautiful evening. Fields all done, clean. 
cornfield there out in the distance. Some more hay way down, I gotta get to it tomorrow. Everything's looking good. I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great night.